Going to pick up a cherry picker so I can disassemble that uh, six liter. Hasn't been very busy this week, so that's why I haven't had very many videos, but I gotta go pick up Brian. So come along with me. Welcome to Life with Belsif. Why wouldn't I take you? We've got a few things accomplished, but not much because I haven't had time this week. Stace went back to work this week. So it's been a little bit of a juggle it has this week with Melanie getting used to mum being back at work and this and that and the other thing. So my head's been spinning like crazy. Friggin' right it has. I'm not cocking her over yet, Jim. I'm back here for you guys because I love you guys. Don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button. If you like uh, picking up Brian in the Silverado. Bye. Like I said, I got a few things done this week. I bought a new water pump from Holly. It's a high flow water pump. It sits closer to the engine. But now, everything else is cocked. So I need brackets for everything. So I think we're gonna send her back and make her fit the way it is because you're looking at like $600 for a friggin' uh, bracket kit. It's ridiculous. For a poor guy like me, it's gonna cost big bucks. So I gotta try to keep her as low as possible. I did get some mounts coming, which are totally adjustable. So that should be decent. And hopefully we'll be able to stuff her in there. Brian's pulling the 5.3 liter LS out of the old black truck soon for his truck. So it's gonna be a LS fest over here. That's what they mean by LS swap the world, I guess. Got them? Cause that's what we're doing. Yeah. Ah, dick. I'm trying to talk Brian out of not. He has a guy that wants his truck. I'm trying to talk him out of pulling the engine and just getting him to give you another motor. Let's go. Hurry up. Good old freaking day. Freak sakes. <coughs> Girl. Easy gentle pretty dark out today so I got the lights on in here just in case y'all want to see me I need a coffee but this Tim Hortons down here in Wyoming Ontario is just decked their coffee friggin sucks don't forget I'll ask Brian what he thinks of their coffee Come on, let's go give him a hard time that he's at <laughs> Why's that battery showing one bar? Can't be one bar already. That you're cocked over, camera. Something wrong with you. Don't forget to hand sanitize, eh? This guy's got two minutes or I'm leaving without him. Frig! I don't think he's ever been on time in his life, Brian. Maybe once. Twice. Three times a lady. Nah, he hasn't. What's he gonna say? Let's go. I'm leaving. I'm leaving. Catch up anyone? Here he comes. <laughs> He looks grumpy. He's gonna smoke in my truck. You watch. What is really going on? Oh, Tell I me. Know. I got a smoking deal on my phone. Tell us. Fifty bucks a month. Okay. Fifteen gigabytes. Okay. You did know that they can't charge you over on gigs anymore, right? Eh? You can take as many gigs as you want. They can't charge you over. I go like. Uh, Dude, I just cut my phone bill in half. That's good. I do like 75 to 100 gigs a month on my phone. Do you still have the little blue phone? Yeah, you want me to grab it right now? No, just grind me later. It's on. I meant to grab it. Only keeps asking me for it. So, Bri, where are we going tonight, Jim? We're going to go to Steve's. For what? Get a cherry picker. What are you doing? I know what I'm doing. What are you doing? I'm going for the ride. Oh. Too fast, Brian. We're going too fast to get. Sign it, we should get rid of it. But, anyways, yeah. Oh, yeah, you got the XR, didn't you? Well, that's a big one, like the Max. Whoopty shit. I know, right? You know how much more I paid because it's the Max? Well, I got better cameras, but. No, oh, yeah, it's 11. 11 Max. The it's, new one. Yes, it's the new one. Yeah, it's the 11 Max. 1600 bucks. Not that one, it wasn't. How much pay on it? I don't know if I got a deal on it because it was due and I think I paid 500 bucks for it. Oh, you just yeah. in my truck. I don't think Fuck I can. Sakes. I think I can because you made me hurry. Oh good, don't let her? Decent. Oh. Go ahead and smoke in my truck, I don't care. See how nice I am? I'm a non-smoker now and I let smokers smoke my f***ing truck. My truck smells so good too. Why did it rain? Why did it rain? I don't know, you tell me. Rain all next week. I have a cigarette, I don't give a shit. Oh. I ordered the engine mouse today. You're way ahead of me. I got the ones that are fully adjustable. They mount to the block. They're stainless steel. How much were they? 400 bucks? And, no, 60, 68 bucks. No, I cheaped out. 
So what it does is you take the old, you take, I take the mount off the 4.3 engine block and I put it where I want to put it. That mounts to the block, your mount anywhere you want on them screw holes. Dude, I'm going cheap, man. As cheap as possible. I gotta pay off the trailer, the house. This f***ing thing will be running before Christmas. What else do I gotta pay off? We're not like you Americans, you know. We can't go out and get a home improvement loan, write it off, and buy a race car. We can't do that shit here. We can't write off anything here. We're screwed. We can't write off a damn nickel. Income tax alone on our paychecks is a 30-year check. But they say that we got good health care. whoop the shit I heard that the Americans are getting pretty good health care nowadays, too. America. Leave your comments down below if you can get yourself some good health care over there. Trap 2020, that's all I know. I guess that should slow down before I pull in, eh? I got lights on so they can see us bright. God, your cigarette stinks. Did I tell you that? This place sucks for coffee. How many times do you get a bad coffee here? Every f***ing time? Every time. You're the best. I called it. You're the best, Tim Hortons. I called. Grand Bend. Yeah. I called and complained. The man, she said, it can't be burnt. The machine doesn't let it. We got new machines. It can't be too hot. The machines won't let it get hot. What the f***? You just told me two things and it's both of them. How can I help you? Large <laughs> double double. Large double double. Anything else? Yep. A, a large cafe mocha with two cream, two sugar. Ten pack of nuggets. You want a ten pack? Well, a large cafe mocha won't do that, sorry. Two cream, two sugar. Okay. I'm going to taste it before I leave, so make sure you do a good job, okay? Okay. Okay. <laughs> Anything else? That's all. What are you buying? Yeah, well, my wife is. Honey bags here, Brian here. Do you tell him? Brian's picky too. Let him know about that double double too. Yeah. Uh oh, taste it right quick. It's hot. And two cream and two sugar. How come your backup lights are on? That's a dome light. Dome light. Why don't you put the six liter in this? Take the four eight out of this and put it in the. Yeah. I thought about that, but then I have two vehicles down. For no, no, listen. Four months. Listen, Linda. So this is my theory. I've got my six liter for the van with the four L eighty transmission, right? If this thing blows up, this thing pulls the trailer fine, no problems at all. I have no oh. problems. Anyways, what was I saying before you rudely interrupted me? And I thought my kid was vaping. Oh. So I sent him a text message saying I'd kill him. Dad, maybe you should quit smoking then and show him how it's done. Anyway. I have one bad habit. You have more than one. No, well, no, no, I'm not considering my marriage a bad habit. Well, I am. Anyways, what I was saying is, so I got my six liter for the van. The reason why I don't want to pull this out is because it's running, it pulls the trailer fine, it does everything it's supposed to do. If it ever blows up, I'll just go and spend another $1,500 on another six liter with a fucking four LED transmission. Done. Right? That way you don't have to dig into two things. Because if I pull this out to put a six liter and then I'm going to pull the van out, then I'm going to do it twice. I don't want, no. The old silver out is running perfect. All. Oh. It's not bad, Tim Horton say. I will give you that. At least I told you to put some love into it. But it's not good yet. So Still I, got some work to do. I fired up the 5.3 tonight. Okay, hold on. And bounced her off the rev limiter. Listen, it hadn't started in a year. Well, since the burnout. What burnout? Yeah, that gym dude that was doing that burnout. But anyways, so I fired it up tonight. We're good to talk louder because he won't hear you. So I fired it up tonight. Figured, I'll pull it out front, get it ready to go in the garage to pull the motor. Put it warm up, put it in reverse, shuts off. I'm like, what the hell? This thing's never had an issue in its life. Okay, pause. Leave your comments down below. I'm gonna plug this mic in. Let me know if it's any different. Well, we're back. Sorry about that. The card was full. But we ended up getting the cherry picker. I Steve, didn't we, Brian? We did. So now we're just gonna run more Right. Hold on. Oh, that was just like, oh. You hear that, Jim? Oh, no! The muscle leg, you did. My card's gonna be cocked over the what exactly is going on here? No. Nobody knows. It's not subtle. Oh, oh yeah, I got it. <laughs> well, there we go. The freaking lifting gear is here. So, tomorrow or the next day, or maybe the next day, or maybe the next day, we'll put it in the van. We'll lift this up and get her split apart, take the manifolds and stuff off her, and go from there. Got to clean her up, make her all pretty. Paint it pink. Rooster dink. Pony pecker. So, yeah, there you go. See, at night, we did a lot of standing around at night, a lot of chit chat, so we didn't get much done, but at least we got the cherry packer. That thing's got a history, Brian, I'm telling you. Steve's had that cherry packer for ever.
It's got two motors to pull. But this is just a short little video for you there. I just wanted to show you what I was up to. That's what I've been up to. Like I said, this week we've been busy, so that's why I haven't had any videos. They're coming. Winter time's coming, and I got a lot of shop time coming. So don't forget to subscribe, like, hit the notification bell bar button. Stay tuned for more V8 action. We'll see what happens. Love y'all. Till next time. You know what I'm doing for now. Oh, <laughs>